This is the latest originals from Spitfire. We knew, we knew they would have to come up with a grand eventually, and this is not your typical grand. So it's like we've had all of these felted uprights, and now it's a new trend. It's soft, it's soft grand pianos. And now with the originals piano here, the intimate grand, we have a Steinway concert grand. The microphones, they've got the ribbons and the condensers plus the binaural. And that's um, and then the lid is off of the piano, so it's just it's just catching that. When I first saw the mic's position like this over the lid, it was like, how are they doing that? Because they had like a little teaser picture. Uh, normally, you'd have the mics like this, but since they had the ribbons on one side and the condensers this way with the lid off, then that makes um, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and then the binaural is an interesting thing. We're, we're talking about velocity layers a lot, so. This one just doesn't have that many. I think it's three velocity layers and, and the softest ones at that. And they've got you know several round robins. And when you look at all the other Spitfire original pianos there, I think the um, Mrs. Mills, I think it has like eight dynamic layers. They're not real big on, on giving us a lot of velocity layers, but I mean, if it sounds good, if it plays good, just start at the top. Really, this is all the presets that you have. You've got um, got seven, uh, seven of these all together. And so let's just go to direct. Now this is just using the condenser microphones and you know what, we're just gonna just take our time with this. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. So with those, so with those condensers, you get that real close. And then the condensers also accentuate the, the bite of the strings that are not felted. So you get all of the overtones happening with those. Now let's go to intimate. And what I wanna do, let's just turn off the condenser so we can just hear these beautiful ribbons. And when I, when I see a pair of coals, those, those you know, you can't, you can't miss that, that look. Um, let's see, and I wanna turn, I'm gonna turn the hammers and stuff down just a little bit so we can just hear. Something about the ribbon microphones, it just gives it a velvety, silky sound. Okay, let's, uh, man, let's get into another key. Let's see. Yeah, listen to that. Ribbons kind of darken the sound a little bit.
and they've adjusted the tightness here. It's going into the sample a little bit, and I think it's shaving off a little bit um, of, the, of the attack. I'm gonna take the tightness all the way down so we can get the full, uh, full sample. The tight with the tightness all the way down you get that full attack of the hammer going and hitting the string something about a grand also is the space is you feel a, just a larger space with it, um, and it's... Um yeah, and it puts you in a different... Um, puts you in a different headspace as well. It is a lot clearer, yeah, Chris, yeah. Because there's nothing covering, <laughs> there's nothing covering the sound. It's a little crisper, a little nice, but the mics just add just that beautiful texture. see when I get that look in my eye it's like he's gone he's gone I didn't really want to play this a lot before I went live. I just wanted, I love just letting it happen uh, while we're together. And um, so Eric, you know, I didn't, I, I rarely ever touch the velocity uh, curve on the keyboard itself. Um, and the thing about the SL88 is that it's so soft. It's just got such a soft, but wide dynamic range but typically it just plays really soft. Sometimes I do have to bump up the velocity scaling on some pianos, uh, but um, since this is a soft, um, I, 
just kind of left it alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's just, yeah, you know, you know, I can't help it. I can't, don't shoot the messenger. Um, it's, um, uh, yeah, yeah, well, like, like I said, you see, you see this, you, oh, there it is, you know, and you just don't want to, you don't want to breathe. Uh, you don't want to breathe. It's like I could sit here and play this piano myself, but it, it but it, it somehow it just doesn't mean as much as it does when I can share it with all of you. Uh, that's uh, wonderful. Mm. Yeah, but your ribbons, man, ribbons, ribbons, ribbons. I love, I love ribbons, 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 ribbons. I, you know, I'm getting waxing poetic here. I'm just gonna go turn the direct on, and let's just listen to the binaural, um, the binaural signal. And if you're listening with headphones, this is going to, um, this is going to be interesting because it's right at the perspective of the uh, of the player here. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Make sure you've got your headphones on. And I'm gonna just turn the tightness. Um, I'm gonna turn the tightness up. And I wanna, okay, and this dynamic slider, if you've got it all the way down, it's gonna take you through the whole dynamic range. If you push it all the way up, you're only gonna hear the hardest velocity layers. So here we go. Now this is the binaural. So this is going to actually sit you behind the piano uh, here. Um, mm. Now this is the binaural direct. It's like you're sitting right there behind the keys. <laughs> I don't know what I...
Isn't that cool? <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's really nice. Beautiful. Okay, so let's um, <clears throat> let's go to uh, one of the blends. Let's go to um, let's go to subdued. See what we've got there. Okay, we've got the ribbons and the um, and the condensers a little bit. I'm going to crank the reverb up a little bit here, and. Uh, So with this uh, patch, the intimate, uh, the subdued, having that ribbon, you've got the warmth and adding that condenser just kind of pulls a little bit of the brightness back into it. Yeah. Thanks, Alex, for subscribing. to get into the more uh, the thicker dynamic ones um, we can just push that uh, that slider up a little bit <laughs> hey Charles yeah you know if you pick it up tell them uh, drop Spitfire a note say Simeon sent you you know <laughs> You know what, Wolfgang, uh, that is, yeah, okay. It's been raining cats and dogs um, last night and today. Let's uh, pull up, um, let's pull up Reverberant Ribbons. And so now this one, Reverberant Ribbons, say that a couple of times fast, Reverberant Ribbons. <laughs> Moses supposes his toeses are roses. Uh, so we've got the ribbon microphones and the binaural turned on here and hammers and pedal. You know, I, I always find myself turning those down just a little bit anyway. So, um, oh, you know what, um, Wolfgang? So you know that um, the Wizard of Oz is getting ready to celebrate their 100th anniversary. Uh, I, that's just so hard for me to believe. Um, uh, that is so hard for me to believe. Um, wow, yeah.
those real bright dynamics when you want them. And wow. So that is so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. <clears throat> yeah, I just like that's it. Yeah. So that's the thing about this uh, is just that that soft. You know, it just lays it in there. And having that binaural set, you know, it just really immerses you into the. Uh, Piano. So let's just sit there. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. So we go from, um, we go over the rainbow to Brazil. Um, I love it. Uh, mm. I love it. So um, that is so cool. <clears throat> okay, so you know we've got to go, um, let me see what I've got got over here in Unify, uh, because this is, um, you know, you guys know that uh, that's where I love, I love to go and see what happens here when we can when we can load up some things inside of Unify, because, uh, you know, two are better than one. And so I've got originals uh, here. I've got the cello swells uh, from uh, Dan Keen and the NFO Film Orchestra. Let's see what we've got in here. Yeah, so I've got the intimate uh, here. And then we've got the uh, decent sampler volitions in here as well. Uh, so, um, and then Unify lets us blend these all together. Hear those cello swells in there. Those cello 
those swells are nice. those different textures coming in and out uh, underneath the, the piano. So you've got the piano going and then the cellos kind of swell up underneath and then the Volitions is just doing some other crazy stuff underneath. Yeah, just that real rich low end pad there with the Volitions and then you have the movement of the cellos going on and then the piano, it's just like, it, it, it's, it's just like taking all of these ingredients and just making these beautiful sonic dishes. Um, it's just beautiful.
that's just so much fun. And just listen to that. It's beautiful. together. We're always better together. And listen to that. It's just so beautiful. And that's one of the reasons why I love Unify. You're able just to kind of pull some beautiful things together rather quickly. And I just uh, named this uh, intimate, intimate glory because it's intimate, but then it's got some really powerful uh, things going on as well. So, man, lots of fun. Well, where do you guys want to go to now? <laughs> it's just so much fun, and you get uh, you get lost in these things. So this is the reverberant <laughs> the reverberant ribbons again. Uh, and let's go to uh, let's go to ambient. And this is binaural with the reverb cranked up quite a bit. And uh, let's just uh, kind of play and see what happens. Oh. Man. just enough classical music to get me into trouble. <laughs> hear that signature sound. So, um, you know, Eric, uh, Unify does so much. It's great for layering instruments. It, uh, you know, you've got a lot of performance things. You can split uh, process effects uh, in these, in the racks, uh, you know, create, create your own types of patches and sounds inside of it. Um, it's really an interesting platform. Uh, and John and Shane are, are always working to improve it. Yeah, so the, you know, having that binaural sound is just really amazing. And then blended with these other microphones as well. So dynamic. And yeah, of course, I knew they were gonna throw those condenser mics way up there. Now this time I am going to bump the dynamic um, dynamic up a little bit.
Yeah, that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, apologies to Dave Brubeck, but that it's just the sound of that. Uh, just the sound again. Sound triggers. Um, sound triggers emotion. It's it, it puts you into different places and and that that real dark sound. Uh, it's a little dark, and that took me into that take five. Again, I, um, I like to turn down those hammers. Um. lot of fun so it's always a joy um, it's always a joy to be with all of you and I just cannot um, I cannot wait to see you next time by the time I see you next time I don't know See, the thing is, it's just real close. Let's put some reverb on there. to seeing you again really soon on another fun adventure. I don't call these reviews, these are adventures because I love taking these journeys with you, discovering new instruments, new experiences, strange new instruments. Um, man, I just want to... getting lost again, but uh, I look forward to seeing you again real soon on the next live stream. Again, we are searching always for that joyful sound. Look forward to seeing you again.